On the Construction Site, A Shine a Light Book by Karen Brown and Bree Johnson. Hi friends, we're going to do this book a little bit differently. I need a darker spot because it's a Shine a Light book. These are so much fun to read and so they're just amazing. If you look closely around the construction site, you will see steel beams and concrete. You will find machines and people hard at work. Shine a flashlight behind the page or hold it up to a light to reveal what is hidden around the construction site. Discover a world of great surprises. People will live in this skyscraper when it's finished. Can you see the plans? Architects and engineers work together to design the building. The plans show what it will look like. People watch as the area is cleared. What is this truck taking away? This dump truck is full of rocks and rubble. The back lifts up and tips to dump the load. Trucks go. Rumble! All buildings need to stand strong on solid ground. This means the builders have to dig down to make the foundations. How many diggers can you see? There is a digger in the pit as well as on the surface. Their claws scoop out the earth to make a huge hole. The skyscraper's foundations are very, very deep. What is this machine doing? Kyle Driver is hammering steel poles into the bedrock. Steel is a strong metal. And it makes a sound. Bang! Bang! This cement mixer is mixing concrete for the foundations. What is going on inside? Can you look and see? Whoosh! Swoosh! Water and cement whirl around and around in the drum. They mix together and make concrete. The foundations are leveled, ready for the concrete that forms the basement floor. Can you see which machines smooth out the ground? Bulldozers push the earth aside to finish the foundations. They have flat tracks instead of wheels. Sweep, sweep, sweep. The frame of the skyscraper is built next. Workers on the ground guide the crane operators who place the steel beams. Can you see how they talk to each other? The crane operator follows hand signals. Each signal means something different. Look, his thumb is pointed down, down. An iron worker is fixing the beam into place. Can you see how? Do you see that he has a special mask on his face? It's to protect his eyes. Sizzle, crackle, metal melts at high temperatures. The iron worker welds or joins the beams by melting them together with a welding torch. Floors are added to the metal frame. A layer of thin steel sheeting is laid into the beams. What is added next? Look, those men are wearing hats on their head to protect their head. Concrete is poured onto the floor and it will dry hard and flat. Carpets will be added after the walls have been painted. Scoosh! Materials are needed at the top of the building. How do they get there? Up, up, up! A hoist full of steel beams goes up the tall tower like an elevator. The tower is joined to the building to keep it safe and steady. Glass is placed on the outside of the building. Can you see who's inside? Busy, busy, busy. There are a lot of builders at work. The glass is tinted to shelter the people inside. Plumbers and electricians are adding water and electrical systems to finish the floors. Where are the pipes and wires? Pipes and wires are hidden behind the walls and under the floor. A 
heavy steamroller drives over fresh asphalt to make a flat road. What is under the asphalt? Crunch! The road is made of many layers. There's earth and sand and gravel underneath the asphalt. The road is soon being used by lots of people. What is inside these trucks? Let's see. One truck has a ladder, paint, and paintbrushes to decorate the apartment. The other trucks have lots of boxes of furniture. Can you guess why? On the top floor, a family moves into their new home. What will the view be like? Wow. I see a moon or the sun. I see lots of tall buildings. Are there tall buildings where you live? Or is there something different when you look out your window? Skyscraper is complete and now people live here. The workers and machines have moved to another site and ready to build again.